Yo, what is up, everybody? What is up? Welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is, y'all. It's LT the God. And today, today I want to talk to y'all about the Boston Celtics going up against the Chicago Bulls. Game three in Chicago, all right? Now, for those of you who don't know, before the game, well, before, like, the game came about, Rajon Rondo was said to have injured his thumb in the previous game and will be out for the remainder of the playoff. So, going into this game, I'm like, okay, Boston's gonna win this game. They're probably gonna win the series. Like, they're probably gonna, they're gonna win the next three games now, in my opinion, because this is a BS injury to try to help the Boston Celtics win because Rondo was dominating them, bro. And when they came out and said this, I was thinking like, wait a minute. So he injured his thumb last game, but he played damn near the whole last game, the entire last game. And he looked just fine. So when they came out and said he fractured his I'm like, bro, this state is trying to help the Boston Celtics. And they're going to win the next, the rest of the games pretty much. So this game in particular though, Brad Stevens chose to make some adjustments to the starting lineup and go small granted they really didn't need to because the bulls had rondo so they were gonna win this game regardless and pretty much what they did like the smaller lineup didn't really make that much of a difference i mean it played a little faster but it didn't make that much of a difference if anything the defense that the boston soldiers had was just way too suffocating i mean jimmy butler he was a straight up bum he shot seven for 21 Jimmy Butler, you gotta show up, man. You can't be just shooting all these bricks. And he didn't even get to the free throw line. So, you can already tell, like, he really didn't care about this game. Along with Dwayne Wade shooting six for 18, he didn't really care about the game at all. So, it was pretty much curtains from the beginning of the game to the end. I mean, at one point, Boston was up by like 20 points. So, that should tell you the whole story right there. It seemed like the Chicago Bulls didn't even care about winning this game. And the Boston Celtics had all the help in the world with this Rondo injury. Talking about, oh, we're going to make an adjustment to the starting lineup. Brad Stevens, bro. And I caught a lot of flack for this earlier this week. Brad Stevens is an overrated coach, bro. Let's just keep it real. He hasn't had that much playoff success. And he's just overrated in general, man. How you get down 0-2 to a Chicago Bulls team? You lost both games at home and then do nothing about it. I'm make a start. I'm gonna make an adjustment to the starting lineup. I ain't trying to hear that shit. That shit didn't make no difference. Y'all had help. Rondo's out. The guy that's been killing y'all all series. Y'all had help. Don't give me that. But yo, to end the game, the Boston Celtics they had they, well they shot 48% from the field, 46% from three, 71% from the free throw line. Even though they only took seven free throws, which is amazing. Meanwhile, the Chicago Bulls they shot 39% from the field. 29% from three. And they made every free throw they took, which was 15. But along with that, the Boston Celtics, they got out rebounded by 15 and still managed to win. They ended the game with 34 assists too, which is beautiful. I love teams that can get a lot of assists. Except <clears throat> excuse me. Except the Warriors. Fuck the Warriors. But they had a lot of assists. They had a lot of guys from passing the ball around, moving around. And it was, it was good to see. They made a lot of threes, too. So, kudos to them. And before I go, Jay Crowder. He he played really good last night. I want to give him a shout-out. Al Horford finally showed up. 18 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 4 steals, and 1 block. That boy was stuffing the stat sheet. That's the Al Horford they've been looking for. That is the Al Horford they paid for. Finally, you managed to show up. Finally. Shout out, shout out to them two in particular, as well as that bench unit for the Celtics. They really stepped up on the road. Kudos to them. They played a good game. On the Bulls side, Robin Lopez, you know, he's going he gonna to do what he does. Man. He's been the beast and he's been consistent all series long. So shout out to them. We are going forward. Jimmy Butler and Dwayne Wade got to step up. Y'all got to play much better than y'all did tonight. And in my opinion, I think that since Rondo was out, Dwayne Wade should be running point. All right, bring in another shooter. Bring in Denzel Valentine and have Dwayne Wade run a point. That gives them the best opportunity to score because Dwayne Wade is a very underrated playmaker and he has been for the majority of his career. 
his playmaking abilities are there. He's when him and LeBron were in their primes, they were pretty much neck and neck with the playmaking abilities. I mean, LeBron's a little flashier, but Wade can still give you assists, and he makes plays for others. So I think Dwayne Wade should definitely be the playmaker going. I mean, from here on out, and I think that'll give the Chicago Bulls their best chance for wins. All right. But yo, that's enough of me talking. If you a newcomer? By all means, hit the sub button and subscribe to the channel. I mean, I'm dropping NBA videos, like multiple NBA videos daily for the playoffs. And I'm doing NBA 2K videos daily just because, I mean, I like playing NBA 2K. So I'm going to give y'all that. So be on the lookout for stuff like that. And like the video if you can for me, please. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate all the love you guys show me. I'm going to continue to show y'all love with these videos, all right? And yo, before y'all go, if y'all could... Comment below what y'all think of game three and what y'all think about the series going forward. Y'all think the Boston Celtics are going to win the next three games now that Rondo's out? Or do y'all think that, you know, the Bulls can make this an interesting series and maybe push it to seven? Yo, who knows, man? But that's enough of me talking. I'll see you on the next video, all right? Peace.